Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel in this session we are going to design a tester for this CNY17 optocoupler opto isolator we can test it manually using a push button and we can also test using this method I applied a signal and we are taking output on the oscilloscope let's start if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it if you want to watch my videos in future you can press bell icon button let's start it is a CNY 17-3 it is industrial standard optocoupler the original optocoupler it was not communicating properly you can make tester for any optocoupler very easily just we have to see the data sheet go to Google see the data sheet check its data sheet and see the pin out for this optocoupler pin 1 1 2 3 its 3 is not connected 4 5 6 it have external base here emitter here collector NPN output and pin number 1 anode pin 2 cathode it will give IR light it is 70 volt voltage collector to emitter maximum forward voltage 1.39 volt and its current so VF VCE V forward for the input diode 1.39 volt and I forward that can be 10 milliampere to 60 milliampere nominal it is IR diode and in case of the saturation its voltage drop is 0.4 volt VCE saturation so these parameters if we find in data sheet we can design its test jig very easily how we can test for example I am using 5 volt power supply 5 volt positive I will apply to a switch push button here then we need to connect a series resistor for current limiting for current limiting resistor at input side we need V supply minus V LED divided by 10 milliampere V supply is 5 volt minus 1.39 volt that is the forward voltage for the diode LED divided by 0.001 so I am using 5 volt minus 1.39 that are the forward voltage for the LED divided divided with 0.01 361 ohm resistance we need 360 ohms this resistor 360 ohm and in output side we need to connect LED we will use 5 volt here positive 5 volt and here we need to connect LED for indication here we also need a current limit resistor because the forward drop voltage VCE saturation for this transistor in case of full operation it is 0.4 volt this LED it is 1.8 volt if we are using 2 volt LED we have to find the voltage for that LED if we are using 3 millimeter LED 5 millimeter LED then we, we will consider the current this time I am using 5 millimeter LED green color so the resistor value this one V supply minus VCE saturation minus VLED divided by ILED that is 5 volt minus 0.4 minus 1.8 divided with 0.025 it is 25 milliampere LED current 
फाइव माइनस पॉइंट फोर माइनस वन पॉइंट एट डिवाइडेड विद पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व दिस टाइम आई एम यूजिंग वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी ओम एंड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी ओम रेजिस्टेंस सो वी कैन सिलेक्ट अप्रोक्सीमेटली द मार्जिनल वैल्यू वी कैन यूज सेपरेट सप्लाई बिकॉज इट इज आइसोलेटेड सर्किट बट फॉर टेस्ट पर्पज वी विल यूज द सेम पावर सप्लाई हेयर फाइव वोल्ट इन द कलेक्टर साइड एंड फाइव वोल्ट फॉर द स्विच वेन वी विल पुश द स्विच फाइव वोल्ट विल अप्लाई टू दिस एल ई डी रेजिस्टेंस ग्राउंड एंड इट विल जनरेट अ लाइट एंड फाइव वोल्ट विल रीच टू द कलेक्टर एमीटर इट विल फॉरवर्ड बाइस बिकॉज द जंक्शन इज नाउ ऑपरेटेड विद दिस आई आर वी हैव एल ई डी वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व ओम रेजिस्टेंस पिन नंबर सिक्स इज नॉट कलेक्टेड पिन थ्री नॉट कलेक्टेड इट इज वर्किंग लाइक पी सी एट वन सेवन ऑप्टो कपलर लाइक दैट आई कनेक्टेड फाइव वोल्ट टू द स्विच दिस इज अ पुश बटन वेन वी विल लीव इट विल गो बैक इट इज अ पुश पुश बटन आउटपुट ऑफ द स्विच इज गोइंग टू पिन नंबर वन दैट इज द एनोड सो पॉजिटिव फाइव वोल्ट विल रीच टू द एनोड At the cathode, I connected this 360 ohm, 340 ohm resistance, and the same positive voltage I connected to the collector. Pin number five, three, four, five. Pin number four that is emitter. At emitter, I connected this LED, cath anode of this LED. Cathode is connected to this resistor. So this time, our this tester is ready. If I will push this button, this LED will turn on. If it is turning on, that means the optocoupler is good. If it will not turn on, the optocoupler is bad. That means the internal LED or the transistor are bad. If it will turn on directly. that means the internal transistor is short circuit in that case we have to replace that one so in this way we can test optocoupler any type of optocoupler either it is 6 pin either it is 8 pin either it is can pack either it is 4 pin we can test very easily we can also test with uh, signal generator and we can also test with oscilloscope the same let me connect signal generator here if you want to test the signal generator i will provide the signal separately to this input side now i connected 5 volt here and i am not connecting this switch now i connected 1 hertz signal to the input side and the output side now it is switching with this 5 volt if i will increase the frequency we can test manually we can test with the signal generator function generator any type of signal we can provide it I hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh